This phone right here might just be better than the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the best camera system that you'll find in a phone from one of the most expensive and prestigious brands, Leica. But you can't have it yet. Let's unbox it and let's talk about it. The Xiaomi 13 Ultra was recently released and we were sent one of their Chinese models to check out. Now, Xiaomi said that this phone will be getting an international release later, but when? That's yet to be determined. Xiaomi sent us a pretty cool hard shell travel case to protect our device, which we couldn't remember the combo for, so we just had to break it open. Inside, we found a simple minimalist case to protect your investment. You also get the Xiaomi 13 Ultra itself, a 90 watt USB-A charging brick, and the USB-A to C cable. Turning the phone on, and you're introduced to Mi UI 14, running on top of Android 13 in this Chinese-only model. Once you get through all the setup, you're greeted with the wallpaper, which seems to be pretty directly a play on the aesthetic of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra with a green Samsung-esque style. It's not a bad thing, but it's just something that we noticed. The phone itself features all the internals that you would expect from a flagship phone in 2023. You get Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, up to 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of storage. You get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with 50 watt turbo wireless charging, as well as 90 watt adaptive charging. The 13 Ultra is also topped off with an IP68 rating for dust and water. When it comes to the exterior hardware, staring at the device yourself, you get a large 6.73 inch WQHD plus adaptive display with 120 hertz refresh rate and it has a whopping 2600 nits of peak brightness so some people said that that might be overkill but if you live somewhere with a lot of extreme bright days and lots of sun you'll know that there are times when even 13 to 1700 nits of peak brightness just isn't enough to get the job done so it's nice to be able to have that option and that versatility when you need it most the display is made from corn and gorilla glass victus and houses the in-screen fingerprint scanner as well as an in-display heart rate monitor but we haven't been able to test the accuracy so it's really an unknown at this point. Something that I'd like to note is that I really liked the black exterior with the gold accent on this one. Uh, it does come in a couple of other colors but this one just looks so good. Couple that with the faux leather back and subtle curve along the back. The phone really does look like a premium flagship and a little bit more also like a proper Leica camera. Of course when the specs are all on paper it looks impressive but the camera is really the star of the show. There are four Sony image sensors with glass and tuning by Leica. Three of them are 50 megapixel IMX858 cameras, which make up the ultra wide, which can shoot also five centimeter macro. You get a telephoto and a super telephoto lens. Well, the leading camera is Sony's 50 megapixel one inch IMX989 sensor with a wide 23 millimeter Leica Vario Sumicron aspherical lens. After taking the camera around for a short walk in Vancouver and around the office, we were actually really impressed with the image quality. Color reproduction looks accurate, skin tones were really pleasant, and when you're shooting indoors or outdoors, it just looks good. The portrait mode may seem a little bit gimmicky, but the results are actually quite nice, and the post-processing does a good job of avoiding accidental helmet hair when it's blurring around the edges of your subject in the photo. When looking at the photos, the 13 Ultra is one of the best at recreating the shallow depth of field found with full frame professional cameras. If I had to be nitpicky, I'd say that the dynamic range could be a little bit better. As of now, it's quite contrasty, which allows skin and food to pop in photos. However, things like bright skies during the day or a white plate serving some food on a patio, they're teetering on being blown out. Fortunately, I never really saw the photos fully blow out and the camera on the phone teeters the edge of highlight peaking, but does it tastefully. This is clearly an investment and you'll have to be an avid photographer to really get your money's worth. Also, the phone is only available right now in China, which means that you won't get access to the Google Play Store or any of Google's services. Xiaomi did say that within a few months that we should be seeing a global release. So it's not here yet, but it could be soon. And in the end of the day, Xiaomi 13 Ultra is well equipped to take on the S23 Ultra, especially with its spectacular camera system. But what do you think? If you had the money to spend, would that be enough to put you over the top and push you towards the 13 Ultra? Let us know in the comments down below. I'd just like to say thank you for watching guys. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a beat. I'm Ryan from Authority Media. Be kind and we'll see you on the next one.